Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take any of your designs that you've made in Canva, which is a graphic design tool that all BCSC students and staff have access to. How you can convert those and move them over into Google Drive so it might be easier for you to share with your students or also give you another option for how you can edit them further or send templates or versions of this to your students. So the benefit of maybe building a slides presentation on here or a planner like some of the templates I have on here, or even an infographic that maybe you want students to have access to as a template and they plug in their own information, is that if you build it on Canva, technically you can send a template of it to your students, but it's going to be in Canva. Um, and some of our students may not be able to use Canva because they're under the age of 12 and that requires parent permission, or maybe they have more familiarity with Google Slides or a similar tool. So essentially what this allows you to do is take any of these files and move it over into Google so you can still have all these fun, pretty designs, but in a format that's more familiar with your students. The other benefit of this is that while it is going to take you a couple more steps here to move this over into Google Drive, and if you're thinking, well, why don't I just start in slides in the first place, you definitely can. But the benefit of starting here in Canva is you have more design options. And if you move this over into Google Drive, then you can use the Google integration tool on the assignment tool on its learning and other LMS providers um, to make sure that you can get this copy to your students and it makes one for them instead of you having to give them a link and they do that themselves. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this. It's pretty easy and pretty quick. So first thing is make sure you have your BCSE Google account and you've signed into Canva like I have here and you pull up any one of your designs. So I'm just going to take this daily focus planner and that's the example that we're going to start with. All right, so I have this pulled up and then what I'm going to do is imagine that I've finished doing this design. I'm going to click the top button here, the three dot button in the top right corner. Um, right here, Google Drive is showing up as a recommended one. If you don't see Google Drive here at the top, if you do see all, you'll see it down here, but I was just recently messing with that one, so that's why it's showing up here at the top. So if I click Google Drive, and I want to move this into my Google Drive, I can select the folder that I want this to be moved into. Um, I'm going to put this in an old folder for myself. Um, and then I can even choose a subfolder if I want. I'll just click choose and you get to select your file type. So PNG is just going to be pictures. You won't be able to edit this. If you want this to be more like a Google slide or a PDF, I can select those options here. So I can do PPTX, which makes it a PowerPoint document and I can save it and it moves it on over. So the next thing I'm going to do is pull up my Google drive in another tab so we can see how that got moved over. So I actually just copied over a few other examples before I made this video so I could show you. So if I click recent, we're gonna see some of the ones I moved over. When it loads. All right, so here's an example of the one that we just moved over here. So it does tell me it's gonna take a few minutes here because it saved it in PowerPoint versus Google Slides, but what you can do is you can save this as a Google Slides presentation so that from there, it's a little bit easier for your students to edit. The only thing is I will say is whenever you move something from Google Slides or if you move something over from Canva and convert it from PowerPoint to Google Slides, sometimes it changes some of your fonts just because Canva has a ton of fonts out there and PowerPoint as well as Google Slides don't have as many font options. So you might have to change some formatting pieces there, but that is something that you can do pretty easily. So the other example that I had here was a Google, was a slides presentation that I built in Canva um, that would maybe be for a lesson or activity. So it added all the cool graphics and things I made here. And again, it's telling me some of these font options aren't possible. So I could also save this as Google Slides. And then if I wanted to have my students use my slideshow presentation here to start their own presentation or a group assignment, what I could do is, um, and it also does move over your presenter notes too, but what I could do is just move this and put this on my It's Learning course in our LMS, and I can set it up to where students have their own copy of my slideshow starter template here to get going. So that is how you can combine both Canva and Google Drive and use some of your familiar tools here if you wish. 